are back tonight looking into viewer concerns about an ambulance service in one community. It's happening in Griswold and apparently a new contract deal just couldn't be reached with the current ambulance service and a new one needs to be found within a month. News 8's Tina Detail explains what's going on. For the past 70 years, those who had medical emergencies here would see the Griswold ambulance pull up in front of the house, but that now ends next month. Two ambulances serve the town of Griswold, last year logging 1,200 calls, but that is about to end. It's a very hot day. William Schmier says a drop in town funding from $90,000 to $20,000 in the past few years has hurt the nonprofit. The first selectman says the town has aggressively tried to establish a contract with Griswold Ambulance to keep it rolling in town. We have made every attempt. Um, I can tell you for a fact that we helped uh, uh, get some partial funding to fix some of the problems they exposed. $70,000 in help, but Schmier says the town wanted them to pay workers per call instead of per hour. Yeah, go back to like if they could sit here all night and if they make a call, give them $30. The equipment will be sold off to Middlesex Hospital next month, so the town is looking for a temporary and then permanent replacement to take over the emergency response folks have come to count on 24-7. 100%. I'll look in the camera and tell you, you'll have service. There's no doubt. It just won't be these guys. Started by the American Legion in 1941, Griswold Ambulance closes its doors October 17th. The veterans that came back started this ambulance service. To see this, or even think about it, it's going to be gone. That's my memorial. That's, that's hard for me to digest. While the equipment will soon be gone, Schmier hopes that some of the folks who work here will be able to continue with whatever ambulance service takes over for the town. In Griswold, Tina Detell, News 8.